But I also notice is that we would talk about other things, you know, and, and, you know, when I'm training these moms and, and these women, um, it's never just about, you know, shredding weight so we can look good in a bathing suit. It was also about, I want to be healthy for my family. I want, you know, I want my kids to be healthy and, and, and it was about nutrition. It was about mindset. It was just a not just about, you know, when you think about just losing weight. Welcome to Functional Medicine Coaching Moms Podcast, where simplifying healthy lifestyle change for moms is the only goal. Hi, we are back. And uh, welcome to our second episode of Functional Medicine Coaching Moms Podcast. I'm Raquel B. Cartagena. I am a certified personal trainer, an older adult senior fitness specialist, and a functional medicine certified health coach. But more importantly, I am a successful single mom of four and an ama of two. And my partner here, Kristen, today will be interviewing me. Hi, everybody. I am a functional medicine certified health coach and importantly, a successful married mom of three. And as Raquel just mentioned, today we are going to hear a little bit about her journey and what brought her to functional medicine health coaching. So I'm very excited for you to share your story today. Um, and I guess you could start from wherever you'd like because there, there's a lot of pieces to your story. It's very there, exciting. There, there, yeah, there are a lot of pieces to my story. And that's what's scary. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I want to uh, keep in a, in a nice uh uh, line of fire here, but, um, okay. So what was it that brought me to functional medicine? Because I actually had no idea about functional medicine as we know, functional medicine is, you know, I think we're definitely in the front line right now with functional medicine. And, uh, but, um, I think I've always had, uh, the functional medicine mindset, even though I didn't know about functional medicine. Um, so when I actually found functional medicine, I quickly identified with it. So that's one thing, but what actually brought me to functional medicine was my fitness, uh, profession. Um, I started, uh, I, I, it's been about 15 years. I, I'm a certified, uh, personal trainer, um, and a few years into working in a box gym, I decided to start my own practice and I just wanted to understand more and kind of look under my hood as to what is, what, you know, why would somebody, you know, come to me, a, you know, a, a middle-aged woman as opposed to going to the gym or, you know, they have all these fitness boutiques now and CrossFit and all this stuff. And I said, well, you know, I, I started zeroing in on what would be my niche. Who do, what, what do, how do I like to serve? Who do I like to serve? And I quickly looked at my clientele and noticed that my clientele consisted of women, uh, mostly moms and usually like 35 and over. And what I also realized is that this is where I shine. This is what I, I just love that relationship and, um, going in deep with them. And what I noticed was that fitness is such an instrumental part of a healthy lifestyle, right? Like you, like when you think about having, wanting a healthy lifestyle or being the best version of yourself, fitness has to be in there somewhere. Like for sure. Yeah. You have to have some kind of movement in your life. <laughs> right. So, um, and so, but what I also noticed is that we would talk about other things, you know, and, and you know, when I'm training these moms and, and these women, um, it's never just about, you know, shredding weight so we can look good in a bathing suit. It was also about, I want to be healthy for my family. I want, you know, I want my kids to be healthy and, and, and it was about nutrition. It was about mindset. It was just a, not just about, you know, when you think about just losing weight. And, uh, so I, that was like one thing. Um, I, uh, was doing, as I started my practice, I went back to school and I became an older adult and senior fitness specialist. Um, 
And because sometimes a lot of my clients, women were just getting, maybe they haven't worked out in a while, or maybe they never worked out at all. And now they're in their forties and they're like, oh my gosh, I, they realize they really need to do something. They're losing a lot of muscle mass. Maybe they're going through menopause and just so many of these different things. And I wanted to be able to really help and be like of the best service I could. Right. Of course. So that's that I ended up starting, uh, opening up a small, um, gym and I wanted to start a program and it was called the fit mom camp. And this fit mom camp, uh, I, I just, I wanted to teach women how to, how to own it in the gym. Like I, I heard so many women walk into a gym and they go to the treadmill and they walk out. I'm like, uh, that's been me before. <laughs> yeah, I'll admit I was, it. Like, not, I'm not a, anymore, but yes, I've done that. <laughs> right. So I wanted, I wanted to teach women, these women, the specific type of women, how to like have confidence to pick up some dumbbells, you know, to feel that there were being like safe and effective ways of training and owning it for themselves. And I thought, wow, if I could do this, this would be amazing. This would be such an impact in their lives. And I just had this whole vision. And so I started going after that vision and I found a little gym that um, I, I kind of sublet uh, an existing gym and, and I started my fit mom camp. Well, I had no idea. Like I got an overwhelming response of moms that joined my fit mom camp and it was amazing. And it was the most money that I've ever, I've ever made. And that was great. And, uh, the thing about, about the program was that I wanted to meet each and every woman I, in my office, like I wanted to know like, well, how much, you know, we just broke everything down. I did their measurements. We did the weigh in, but more importantly, we sat down and I wanted to know who this woman was. And, um, that was, first of all, that experience for me personally was so amazing and nourishing. And, um, when I was out on the floor now with 14 women, and I'm showing them the circuit. I could say, Mary, I need you to do this. You know, Alana, I need you to do that. Like, and I, when they looked at me, like I, we already, we had an, a relationship. There was foundation there. And especially when they felt um, like they weren't sure if they can do something or they were afraid to do something and we would talk it out and then they would just have, they it started building confidence and that was really great. But these women would run into the thing, into the program and then run out. And maybe for that, cause it was like 30 minute sessions, they would like do really well and stuff, but then I would do a reassessment and we would talk about other things and um, it did make them feel stronger. It did help, but I felt like there was something missing. There were other things missing. And I knew that fitness, um, may had such an impact in my life and helped me so much. But then I, I also knew that there were other things, you know, journaling, meditating, um, just having time, like just so many other things. Um, and I felt like the majority of these of this population were running from one task to the next task to the next task. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to, you know, and That's as definitely we know, the mom life running from one thing right? to the next. That's mom right? life. Yeah. And we put, and we put ourselves in the back burner. Um, and you know, I was a stay at home mom for like 10 years and honestly becoming a single parent, I could no longer put myself in the back burner because I knew that if I went down, my entire family was going down. So I sure. had to prioritize myself and think like, who is the woman that, you know, what type of mother am I providing for my kids? I have to work on this woman, right? Cause this woman is the mom. And that really helped me a lot. Um, anyway, as I kept going through the program, some women would leave the program and then come back and they would kind of, you know, they, they regained, like they lost eight, 10 pounds, but then they come back and they gained back like six of the pounds. And, and 
I was like, gosh, there's, um, I just felt like something, I, I couldn't pinpoint it. And I felt like I'm helping in the surface and maybe like, but there's other things. And I was, I was trying to figure it out. Then COVID happened and I had to shut down. Um, also to kind of hit the rewind button a little bit. I also, um, remember that I was feeling very depleted and it was interesting to me because I was like, okay, why am I feeling so drained? Why is this? I felt like I, I just felt so depleted in my energy. And I was like, you know, is this, is, I felt like it was sucking the life out of me. And I'm like, that's interesting because this is the most money I've ever made. You know, you would think that I would be like, oh my God, this is amazing. But I was running back and forth. I was trying to figure things out. I, I was spending less time with my own family, my own kids. And I, I was starting to run and I was like, okay, I felt like it was taking me over to some degree. I, you know, that you was were becoming, whole... you were becoming like your moms that were running yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> over. Yeah. Right. That's what it felt like. And I was like, oh my gosh, then COVID happened. And, um, that kind of allowed me to take a step back and say, okay, when eventually this is going to be over and when it is, do I want to go back to that? And the answer was no. I, I definitely don't want to go back to that. But then I felt really bad because <laughs> I felt like I was um, letting my moms down. Mm -hmm. And that was really hard um, because, you know, I don't want to be like a quitter, um, but I also felt like I was so drained and I couldn't pinpoint what the problem was. And um, I thought, well, maybe I got to get different. Maybe I have to add something. Like I felt like I wasn't like the fitness was a piece of it, but it's not the whole thing and what's missing. So I started doing research. I was like, well, nutrition, maybe, maybe I, maybe I need to look at a nutritional certification, maybe, you know, look at, um, and then I started noticing like they have like these lifestyle coaching certifications and, you know, become a lifestyle coach six week program. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, oh my it gosh. It doesn't sound comprehensive. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. I just really want to be, I just wanted to be the real deal. And I wanted to know that I was really making a, that, you know, that I was making a difference in this woman's life, this mom's life. Um, and that together as a team, it was really shaping her world into more of what she wanted to see more of, of herself. And I felt somewhere inside me, I have this, but there was, I had to figure it out. And so I started digging in deep, started doing a lot of research, looking at all, oh my gosh, you have no idea how many programs are out there, girl. It was <laughs> insane. And I was like, I was really at my wits end. So I went into meditation. I would go into meditation. Um, I, I, I do meditation for like two minutes, two to 10, 10 minutes. But it just really kind of creates the space. I have my journal. And I, in that, um, I remember in one of my meditations, after I meditated, I was writing in my journal and I got an aha moment. And I was like, oh my gosh, the woman that I used, that I interned under years and years ago, uh, when I first became a trainer, was an amazing woman. She was like, a walking encyclopedia about fitness. And I mean, she just was like amazing. I felt so blessed to happen that she was the woman I was interning under. And so I just took a shot and sent her a text. Didn't know she still had the same number. I mean, I'm talking about like 14 years ago, whatever it was. And wow, that's she, a long time. Okay. Yeah. And she actually responded. She's like, oh my gosh, Raquel, I totally remember you. And I was like, oh my gosh. And, um, she was now a registered dietitian. She had her own practice and I explained to her where I was at. And she's like, Hey, if you want to come in, let's, let's meet up. And so I just basically asked her, you know, what do you, you know, I, I gave her a lowdown. She's like, let me think about it. She got back to me. She's like, listen, you know, actually I'm in the process. I'm back and I'm studying to be an, uh, she was studying at the Institute of Functional Medicine mm -hmm. to become a functional medicine practitioner. And she's like, and I do know that there is um, another program that's affiliated somehow. They're connected somehow, and it's the Functional Medicine Health Coaching Academy. Check it out and see what you think. And I was like, okay. And I'm like, wow, that's interesting that I never 
all that research I did, I've never ran across the Functional Medicine Health Coaching Academy. Mm -hmm. And um, I looked them up. I read up, started reading, and I was like, that was it. I There was no question. And it's amazing when they say, you know, even the things that you think are like, our frustrations, like the path of getting from where you are to where you want to be is so important because if I didn't go through all that, there's no way in the world I could had appreciated to the level and degree of which I appreciate functional medicine um, and, and, you know, becoming a functional medicine health coach. Because when I started researching it and understood how they covered the grounds and understood the, you know, Health had to do with fitness. It had to do with diet. It had to do with mindset, positive psychology. And that to me was it. I was like, yeah. oh my. So you finally were able to kind of put the whole package together for these women. That yes. You, in the beginning, you were just satisfying that kind of fitness piece, which is, of course, super important. But yeah, you can't really heal the whole person or make the whole yeah, person absolutely. the best version of themselves. Yes. And more importantly, you know, what was, what, what functional medicine that brought it for me, um, to the next level is because also as a fitness professional, I'm the expert, right? Mm -hmm. I tell you what to do. I was telling all these women what to do when they met with me in the office, my intentions were great. And I would listen to them, what they were saying. And then I would tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. I learned another approach that is just blows my mind that just took it to another level, which is these women, I, I didn't have to tell them what to do. Yeah. I'm talking about like, yeah, I could tell them how to do squats, you know, proper form and stuff, but they have, they had all those other things inside them. And it was my job to help them connect with that version of themselves by listening and mm -hmm. then saying, well, what do you think about that? Well, how, instead of telling them what to do, because then I'm taking their power away. Well, if right. you do this, yeah. this, and this, then you're going to get this outcome. Go do it, girl. Come on, you know, mm -hmm. let's do it. But now the approach is, okay, so what is it that you want to see more of? Okay. What, and how do you think that you can get there? How do you think, and let them and that was, that's been all the, like, that is amazing. Like I can't even tell that little piece of just listening and helping the person yeah. connect it, to themselves. It's huge, right? It gives the people the space. And then, you know, as you mentioned earlier, some of these people would, you know, stop coming to your program and then they would gain all the weight back. But if they actually are the ones, you know, with owning their power, it. owning it, yeah, that there's such a higher, like, sustainability. Like, the change can actually last instead of just going back to the old way. Yeah, and, you know, I actually, I was coaching a young man, uh, and he lost his mom. So, as a functional medicine coaching mom, I was coaching this young man, but he was the son of a mom, right? And he got lost. He was doing drugs. He was, he just felt terrible. He's just lost in his world. Um, and I, I know his, his dad and, uh, met up with them in the church and I, saw him and I was like, Hey, Tyler, you know, how are you doing? And just had a little small talk with him and talking to him about functional medicine. And, and, um, he started sharing with me like where he was at and he was like, wow, it sounds like I could really use, um, the type of coaching that you do. And I was like, well, let's do it. I will meet with you. I'm going to give you some sessions and let's do it. Um, and he, Never once did I tell him stuff that he already knows. Don't do drugs. Right. Go work out. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, it's just like, but true. it was just giving him the space to explore, to go through his process. And today, this young man is like, he gave me before and after pictures. He texted me like how he, you know, he, he also, he, he had a lot of, um, 
problems in terms of coordination and stuff. And we, I went, I helped him to kind of just do some baseline and just listening to his body. And even just with that, like he's just made such amazing strides and he had nothing with me telling him what to do as much as was um, to be his cheerleader, to be his confidant, to be his safe place, his space, a place that he can meet himself and exactly. listen to himself. Yeah, and you're on the sidelines, but you know he's he's doing the work. He's doing it all. It's just you're on the sidelines supporting. Yeah, and so I just think about that too because you know we're the functional medicine coaching moms, but this is a young man, and he's not a mom, but he was the son of a mom. Exactly. And we, yeah. you know, we have children, and. And so it's funny because I, I think of our names could also have a double meaning, like functional medicine, coaching moms, and we are coaching moms. <laughs> we're moms, we're coaching. We're moms, we're coaches. Yes, exactly. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, this has been so wonderful hearing your story. I think it's so inspiring to see how you came to functional medicine. It's so interesting that we both have totally different paths, but we came together um, for yes. this one common, very exciting part of medicine. And for our community out there, if you could subscribe, we would love your support. It would really help us get going with the podcast. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye. The information provided in this podcast is for informational purposes only and is not intended for the purpose of diagnosing, curing, treating, or preventing any disease. We are functional medicine certified health coaches and not licensed medical professionals. The opinions and advice of guests are their own and also not considered to be medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare professional when making any healthy lifestyle changes. We would love to hear from our mom community. Any wellness topics that are high on your list, please DM us at Functional Medicine Coaching Moms. We can also be reached via email at info at functionalmedicinecoachingmoms.com. You can find Functional Medicine Coaching Moms podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the subscribe button.